My name is Chris Wessel. I'm a tying partner with Shore Fishing. Um, today we're going to talk to you about a new idea that Shore has come out with. It's uh, a monthly subscription uh, fly tying material box. Excuse me, sorry. So basically the idea is you pay a certain amount to get either one month, three months, six months, or a year subscription. Um, I was super stoked about this idea when I heard that they were going to do it. I, I'm actually, I, I know other people have done this. I don't know if it's down the States or not. I, I don't think I've seen this in Canada before. I could be wrong. Uh, but basically you get a box every month starting in April. I believe I got a few notes here, um, mid April ish. And um, basically, like if you have a tire in your life or you're a tire yourself and you want to subscribe, it, it makes a great gift. I, I would love somebody to buy this gift for me. If my wife didn't have headphones on in the next room, I'd probably just screech out or to, to um, put it on my list. Um, sorry. Everybody can hear me, right? Okay. Anyway. Um, so we'll go through the box. I'll, I'll show you like what this will be the first box. Um, I'd show you the box, but uh, the one that I got is not actually the box that it's going to come in. I seen a picture of the boxes that it's going to come in and they're gorgeous. Like even just looking at the box, you're just like, wow, well, you know, it's something new, something shiny. It's, it, it's really cool. Really nice design. I don't have that box because <laughs> they got those boxes in probably a couple days after they shipped this out to me. And with the way everything's going now with this uh, pandemic, it's so hard to tell when somebody's going to get something in the mail. So anyway, without further fur, further ado, um, so right off the bat, probably one of my favorite things about uh, when I get something from a company is they include a decal. I get almost excited for a decal in my box as I do the merchandise that comes in. And I got a couple of buddies that are like that too. Uh, Sean Vardy, I don't know if you're uh, joining us today, but you definitely come to mind right away. Uh, I'll save this one for you, actually. Um, so the stuff that you get in here, um, starting off, faux bucktail. Anybody that knows me knows that I love this stuff. Um, I got the idea from another tire a couple of years ago, and I started using it, um, especially in my uh, salmon wet fly wings. It's a nice coarse material. <laughs> This isn't a full bucktail uh, by like each color by itself. It's more broken up into either halves or thirds, I think. Almost looks like halves. But I mean, this is like for just one of these, like a full bucktail, it's 10 bucks. Really cool. And also to note on this, like there's an orange here. Like I'm not convinced that I would buy an orange, but if it's there, it's gonna make me look at it and say, you know what, what can I tie with that? And this is awesome because it's gonna get those creative juices flowing when you're feeling like you're in a slump. If you're like me, you gotta take a break from tying the regular every now and then and just try something on your own, throw it in your fly box for the summer. <clears throat> if there's any questions or anything, guys, um, I, I, I can barely see my phone, but um, I'm sure Benoit or Eric um, will answer them. And if not, I'll come in afterwards and, and I'll answer everything after we're done. CS42 Partridge hooks in number four. There's 10 of them in this pack. These are not cheap hooks, they're expensive. I know because I've looked at them before. I've never actually tied on one. I've been meaning to. Another good reason why these monthly subscriptions are a cool idea. Um, this gives me the opportunity to, to try 10 of these out and be like, you know what? I actually prefer this over what I'm using now. Or maybe I won't, but at least now I know and I didn't have to go out and buy a full pack of them or whatever. I guess I did because I subscribed, but man, this is awesome. This is so cool. It's like so many things in here that is just, it's surprising. This is Genetic Rooster Mini Pack. Um, this one is a size 10 to six, and this one is a size two to six. Um, these are used for bombers, uh, pretty much any dry flies. It's kind of cool, like I, I would buy a yellow um, anyway, but like a pink, I probably wouldn't. But now that being said, this pink's sitting next to me at my fly tying desk and I'm looking at it and I'll probably say, you know what? It's time for me to try out a pink fly. And I know people that love fish and pink flies. So, you know, it's, this is such a cool idea. I really, really like it. Um, dyed gray fox. 
Love, love, love this stuff. Um, I've been using it as bomber wings. Recently, uh, one of the other tying partners with Shore, his name's uh, Luke. Um, I'm actually not going to try to pronounce his last name because he's French and I'm terrible at that and I'm just going to make a fool of myself. Um, but it's, his name's Luke and he tied a Lax uh, Blue variant using this as a wing. It's super, super sharp, awesome looking fly. This stuff is, is really cool stuff to experiment with. I love it. Uh, we also have a spool of Uni Nylon. It's 200 yards, so it's a big spool. I've never used this before either. So, like I usually use Uni Flosses or uh, Uni Stretch, but I can't say I've never ever used a nylon, so I'd be pretty pretty stoked to try this out. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So, apparently, I, and I didn't know they were going to do this, but they also add um, some flies. So that's a woolly bugger. It's tied with a fish mask. Fish mask is, is actually not a, a really cheap um, material for fly tying. So, I mean, there's some money put into these flies. It's pretty well tied, too. Can't wait to fish that. I know a good spot for that. Another woolly bugger, an olive, tied with um, fish skulls, the metal ones. That's really cool. That will be great for trout. And I think they even use the living eyes on them if I... Yeah, it looks like it's not the cheap uh, eyes. It looks like living eyes. They're they're also really expensive. I mean, there's some money put into this stuff. And there's also a trout dry fly, nice small one. I'm not sure what the name of this pattern is. Um, it's well tied though. It's good. Doesn't look like a mass produced thing. Um, man, this yeah. So that's everything that's in the box. Uh, we'll get into price here now. Did I already mention that? I don't know if I did. Uh, okay, anyway, I'll just say it again. Sorry if I already mentioned it. So one month uh, subscription, so basically you're just buying one tying box is $36, which, I mean, if you kind of tally up everything we just looked at, it's definitely worth more than $36. And um, I believe shipping's included in that. Yes, I, I think it is. If I'm wrong, sorry. Eric or Benoit, they're, they're the guys that work with Shore, and they're going to kill me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure shipping's included. That's like 15 bucks. So even at a one-month subscription, I mean, that's $21 left over. That is way more than $21 worth of stuff. I think, arguably, that's over $40 worth of gear. Um, three-month subscription is a little bit cheaper. It's $34 per month at three months. Shipping's also included, hopefully. Uh, six months, it's... $32 and a one-year subscription uh, is $30 a month so I mean some pretty good savings there if you commit to a year um, you can order this only through shore.fishing and again this starts around April in April mid-April I'm sure you can start um, paying now for a subscription and but it will start sending out around then Really cool present for, you know, Father's Day is not that far off. Um, you know, I got a birthday in December. Kristen. Nah, she still has her headphones on. Anyway, um, she'll be notified after. But Christmas, anything like that, like as a tire, I, man, this, I would be so freaking stoked if somebody got me this as a gift. So, anyway, that that's about all I got to say about it. And... You know, I'll come in afterwards and answer any questions you may have. And if I can't answer it, I'm sure Benoit and Eric have already done a pretty good job of doing that. Um, hopefully the audio wasn't too bad on this. If uh, Yeah, so thank you very much and uh, see you next time.